Early wake up, going to the airport. Let's get it, Croatia. Wasn't that shake out run before the big race? See you there. Hey everybody, welcome back to another race video. Today I'm in Umag, Croatia, getting ready to run the Istria 100 by UTMB in about four and a half hours. And now I'm gonna go through what I'm gonna wear and bring for the race. Starting with what I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna have some merino wool socks, I'm gonna bring an extra pair, some shorts and a long sleeve shirt for the nights. I have waterproof pants and some like legging trousers in case. My Ultra Music Festival bucket hat, my gloves, sunglasses, a buff. I bring two overlayers in case and my rain jacket, but it shouldn't rain. Two working headlamps, my emergency blanket, a first aid kit, some different medical things like some eye drops, some pills, some magnesium, etc. I have my headphones, a uh, extra battery and a battery for my GoPro. I have my two flasks my soft cup, my Solomon running bag, and my poles. Working around more, I have some extra batteries, some wet wipes, my number, a bunch of different food I'm gonna carry, some tissues, and on my feet, I'm gonna be wearing my Solomon, uh, sorry, my Hookah Speed Goat 5 Wides, and on my wrist, I'm gonna have my Garmin Fenix 6X Pro. <laughs> 2 p.m., all dressed up. Walking to the start line. Let's get it. Here in Laban at the race start, the race is going to start in like 20 minutes. Let's get it. of April.
bit more than an hour in. It was mainly down and then quite a bit up. Now some flat. Like still feeling pretty good. Let's keep it going. made it past the first aid station it's 6 49 p.m 19.2 kilometers until the next one here we go do not go gentle into that good night old age should burn and rave in close of day rage rage against the dying and the light Though wise men at their end, no dark is right. Because their words had brought no light in they Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Almost three hours in. Oh, just did a serious amount of climbing. Now the sun is starting to set. Soon it's going to be dark. And soon the head torch comes out. And at 8 p.m. it's officially time to put the head torch on. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do much filming in the night because this GoPro doesn't really capture darkness very well, but I'll keep you guys posted. And it's 9.40 p.m. and I'm making it to 8 station 2. That was a good one. That was a good segment. Alright, on to the third leg now. Hold on, let me lower this a bit. This is going to be the diff most difficult one, I think. It goes the highest climb. So, let's get it. Hold on, am I going the right way? Yes, see you there. <sighs> Just made it to the highest point, I think. Foggy and spooky. Wow, what a climb. But I think that's the hardest done. And now I'm a bit down in the next day station. Oh, it's half, halfway past midnight. Hey, station three. Woo. Just past 8 station 3, roughly 1 a.m. I think that last leg was the most difficult one. Went from like sea level to 1,380 meters and then back down to 900. How about that was the most climb of the single segment? So in this next one, there's not minimal climbing. So hopefully, it's much easier. See you later. It's 3 a.m. Should be almost at 8 station 4. This last leg was quite decent. And somewhere out there, Patrick is having a Krabby Patty. If you know, you know. Just 
past aid station four, it's 3.08 a.m. It was a decent leg, gained up a bit of ground. Now this next one is, should be the longest leg remaining. A little bit of climbing, 700 meters. But we keep it going. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Sun is coming up, 6.31 a.m. Negative Arthur has arrived. That's la that last leg killed, started to break me. Whew. These aid stations are not fucking close enough. I have no water, but I've arrived to aid station five or whatever the next one is. And I need a break. Uh. It's 9.25, now I'm making it to the next aid station where I can finally change, get some food, and go to the toilet. Just left the big eight station, new outfit, who dis? Just changed, got some food, relaxed a little bit. Now we keep going, like 69 kilometers to go. Nice. I'm hot. Um. I'm sorry, but these aid stations are way too far apart. If it wasn't for this random woman who was sent from God to give me more water, I would have ran out so early, and I'm not sure I would have made it to the next aid station, but fuck me. They, they cannot. It's way too hot. They cannot have them so far apart. Oh, I'm almost there. the next aid station thank the lord the next leg is just as long there better be a way for me to refill my water because i don't know how i'm gonna make it the time to drink like three liters Whew.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. PM. 23 hours, 8 minutes have gone by, and I've made it to the next aid station. And now it's been 24 hours, it's 5 PM. And I probably have another six hours to go. Just did a big climb. I think I have like another 350 meters left of climbing. Maybe around 30 kilometers, I don't know. But it's hot, but slowly the sun is gonna go down finally. And then the night should be a bit cooler. This is the last like decent leg. Then the next two should be pretty quick. Well, hopefully pretty quick. Hopefully they should be runnable. Talk to you soon. And at 6.51 p.m. I can finally see the big blue ocean in the distance. It means we're getting there. Here we go, here we go. Nine twenty-two p.m. Making it to the second to last pit stop. Only a nice and easy half marathon to go. Let's do it. For a second out in a row, the head torch comes on, but hopefully it won't be for too long. And at 8.34 p.m., I make it to the final aid station. Now the home stretch. nearly 10.30 and I'm finally getting to Umbag. Just a couple kilometers left. Burned nearly 14,000 calories. How did I do that? Fucking insane. Madness. I wouldn't recommend. How you feel? Tired. Is, is this grumpy Arthur coming out? No. Huh? You're not, not grumpy? Really. I was way more grumpy in my other races than I was in this one. Well, different kind of grumpy. <laughs> I don't think I like doubted I was going to finish this one. I kind of accepted it was just going to take a while. The other ones I was kind of annoyed and was like trying to get it over with. <laughs> I think I've run enough for one lifetime in a day. Uh.
It's 10.41 p.m. on Saturday. Started 5 p.m. on Friday. 29 hours, 41 minutes. 104 miles, 168 kilometers, 6,000, over 6,000 elevation climb. And we've made it. We fucking made it. We did it.